What's up guys, it's Baseball Star here, back with another video. So, as you all probably know, the trade deadline has passed, and we are entering the last couple months of the season. So in this video, I will be making my World Series prediction. Now, there were a lot of really good teams to choose from this year, like the Yankees, or the Twins, or the Braves, or the Cubs, but two of them really stood out to me, and that's the Astros and the Dodgers. Yup, that's right, you heard me right. I think there's gonna be an Astros versus Dodgers rematch in the 2019 World Series. And in this video, I will explain to you why. So first, I'm going to go over the team stats and compare them side by side. So currently, the Houston Astros have a 639 winning percentage, which is the best in the American League, and the Dodgers have a 645 winning percentage, which is the best in the National League. The Astros are third in team average. They have a team average of 270, and the Dodgers are eighth in the MLB in team average with an average of 260. The Astros have scored 562 runs this year. They're eighth in the MLB, and the Dodgers are fourth in the MLB for runs scored with 590. And for total home runs, the Astros come in six in the MLB with 176 home runs, and the Dodgers come in second in the MLB with 181 home runs. All right, so now that I've compared the team stats side by side, I'm going to be talking about each lineup and players, starting with the Dodgers. So the first player I'm going to be talking about from the Dodgers is Cody Bellinger. Bellinger's in the middle of their lineup. He hits for great power and a really good average. He's hitting 331 this year with 34 home runs. He has one of the highest wars in the MLB. He's putting up really impressive numbers this year, and he could be the possible National League MVP if he keeps it up. Bellinger is a great player all around, and he's really going to help carry that offense in the postseason. Another player that we're going to be talking about in this video is Jock Peterson. Peterson is also one of the better hitters in the middle of the Dodger lineup. He hits for a lot of power with 23 home runs. He's pretty good defensively in the outfield, although he doesn't hit for much average. But in the postseason, he will really help that Dodger team lineup. He's got some postseason experience, and he's a great piece to that lineup. Another lefty power hitter is Max Muncy. He's hitting 263 with 26 home runs. Again, the Dodgers are a great power hitting team. And Muncy came to the Dodgers in 2018 last year and nobody really expected much from him. Previous to that, he got released by the Oakland A's. But man, he's just broken out. He's putting up career high numbers and he's continuing to get better. So Max Muncy is going to be a huge part in this Dodgers lineup in the postseason. And another key position in this Dodger team lineup is Alex Verdugo. Verdugo is a great power hitting rookie who came up late last season and he's having a pretty solid season. Um, he's really going to improve that Dodger lineup in the future, so he's a great piece to their team. And of course, in the lineup, there's Justin Turner, who is amongst one of the best third basemen in the MLB right now. He's hitting 288 with 16 home runs. He's having a pretty good season. Um, he has some postseason experience too. And of course, he's really going to help the Dodgers be good in the postseason this year. And the ace of the Dodgers starting pitching rotation is going to have to be Clayton Kershaw. Clayton Kershaw is one of the best pitchers in the MLB. He has multiple Cy Young awards and an MVP award. He has an ERA of 285 this year with a 9-2 record. He has postseason experience and boy, he has some nasty stuff. And he's really going to carry that starting pitching rotation in the postseason. Another star pitcher in that rotation is Hyunjin Ryu. Ryu is coming back from injury entering this season, and he has also been great. He has a 1.74 ERA amongst one of the best pitchers in the National League. He has an 11-2 record, so he's really come back from injury, and he's come back strong. He has been in the league a while, so he does have that experience that you would want entering the postseason. 
He was also the National League starting pitcher for the All-Star team this year, and I think that Kershaw Ryu one-two punch is going to really help the Dodgers this year. The Dodgers also have one of the best closers in the game, and that's Kenley Jansen. Jansen has 25 saves this year, which is a lot, and he also has a pretty low ERA of 3.67. Over the years, he has done a fantastic job in the closer position, so I think if the Dodgers have a shot at the World Series, Kenley Jansen is really going to help them out. So there I just talked about the better players on the Los Angeles Dodgers, I talked about their middle of the guy orders in the lineup, I talked about the main aces in the pitching rotation. So the Dodgers are a pretty young team, they've got a lot of power and they've been to the playoffs many years now, so they have a lot of playoff experience. I think that the Dodgers are definitely the National League team in the World Series this year. I will be talking about the Houston Astros lineup and their pitching rotation. So the best hitter in the Astros lineup is probably going to be Alex Bregman. Bregman is hitting 256 this year with 26 home runs. He's showing a lot of power. He plays good defense at the hot corner amongst one of the best third basemen in the MLB right now. He's an all-star. He's a home run derby participant. He's got playoff experience and I think He's really going to carry that offense, and the Astros are going to go far this year. So another great player in the Astros lineup is Carlos Correa. They're starting shortstop. Correa's hitting 280 this year with 12 home runs. He's one of the best shortstops in the American League, and he shows great power, great speed. He's really good defensively, and he's also pretty young, so he's going to be part of the Astros' future, and I think that he's going to carry them far this year. Jose Altuve, probably the most well-known Astros player. He's hitting 300 this year with 16 home runs. He hits for good average, and he plays really good defense at second base. He's a good middle infielder. Him and Correa do a great job in the, in the middle infield, second base, and shortstop. He won the MVP a couple years back when the Astros won the World Series, and I think that he's going to bring them far this year again. Another one of the best hitters in the Astros lineup is going to be George Springer. Springer is the best leadoff hitter in baseball. He's hitting 292 with 24 home runs, showing a lot of power. He plays good defense out there in center field, and he won the World Series MVP a couple years back, so he obviously has experience against the Dodgers in the World Series. So I think George Springer is going to be a key role this postseason. You also can't forget that Michael Brantley is also in this Astros lineup. He's sitting 324, the highest batting average on their team, with 16 home runs. He's showing great power, showing great average. He can really take charge in that corner outfield position. And I think Michael Brantley is also going to have a key role in this Astros postseason run. He was a free agent last winter and the Astros signed him to a contract. And man, he has just broken out. He's putting up even better numbers than he was with the Indians. So he's just getting better and better and better. And he has really improved that Astros lineup this 2019. Astros by far have the best starting rotation in the major leagues right now. And the ace of that rotation is Justin Verlander. Verlander has a 2.73 ERA, his record is 14-4, and, and he's amongst one of the best, if not the best, pitcher in Major League Baseball this year. Eric Cole is also a solid pitcher in the Astros rotation. He has a 2.94 ERA this year, and he's 12-5, and so Garrett Cole is also a strong pitcher who should help out the Astros this postseason behind Justin Verlander. The Astros also added Granke to the starting rotation mix. Granke's having a great season with a 2.87 ERA. He's 10-4 this year for the Diamondbacks, and Granke is also one of the best pitchers in the National League right now. He just got moved to the Astros, and I think that he's really going to help that rotation and make the rotation even stronger than it already is in this 2019 postseason. So yeah, that's my 2019 World Series prediction. You can tell me what you think in the comment section down below. 
leave a like if you did enjoy this video and subscribe if you're new if you love baseball this is the place to be i'll see y'all next time goodbye